And as we look even further out into the cosmos in this spectacular uh, picture by the Hubble Space Telescope, we see virtually all the way to the end of the visible universe and virtually all the way back to the beginning of time. This picture takes us to about 95% of the end of time and the end of space. This is called the Hubble Ultra Deep Field Image. And in this one little teeny spot of the sky, there are over 10,000 galaxies, none of which had ever seen be been seen before. So the Hubble team decided that they wanted to, to try to see as far as anyone could possibly see with their telescope. And to do that, they had to aim at a, an area that was black in the sky. If you look at a nearby object, you won't see what's behind it. And in fact, uh, a nearby galaxy would be so bright that it would, uh, its glare would obstruct the view of something that's uh, even slightly offset. So they had to take a gamble, and they looked for the blackest part of the sky they could find, and they spent one million seconds of the Hubble Space Telescope time, the most valuable resource in astronomy, looking at a black spot. If the gamble hadn't paid off, this picture would be black. Right? They could have found out that the black spot was really black. That wouldn't have been worth a million seconds of telescope time. What they found out instead is that there were 10,000 galaxies hiding view so far away that no telescope had ever seen them before. And so based on this image and others, we estimate that our universe contains over 100 billion galaxies, <coughs> each with an average of about 100 billion stars. So that's 10 to the 22 stars in the entire universe, and probably a comparable number of planets, but no one's detailed count. 